Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a Hemisphere S631 base to broadcast over a local Wi-Fi network. So there's a couple things you're going to need before this video begins. You're going to need the 7-pin to serial cable, and you're going to need to have to have Pocket Max installed on your computer. Once you have those two things done, you're ready to go. So what I did before the video began was I started up my receiver, I connected it from the 7 port to my serial port using a USB to serial adapter to my computer. And what I'm going to do here is I've connected to the Wi-Fi network of my receiver and I'm going to enter the web UI address of 192.168.10.1 and this can also be found on the bottom of your receiver. It may prompt you for a username or password. In my case, I've just logged in recently, so it's not going to prompt me for that. If it does, your, your username is going to be admin and your password is going to be S631, all letters being lowercase. And once you have that entered, you'll be taken to this status page here in the web UI. What I'm going to need to do is to enable OEM mode on my receiver. And to do that, I'm going to head to my settings option in the top right corner. It's going to bring up my aforementioned settings menu and I'm going to go to device configuration and I'm going to make sure my direct link mode is set to OEM and hit save. And once I've done that, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to open up my Pocket Max application here and you can see I'm launching it right now. And with my Pocket Max application open, I'm going to want to make sure that my port is selected to the proper port and I can check that by using the device manager. If I open up that application here and I'm just going to drag it onto my screen, you're going to see that if I scroll down here a bit, I'm going to have an option for ports and you can see here that the prolific USB to serial com port 3 is being used. Obviously I'm doing this on Windows 10, it may be slightly different if you're using Windows 11 or an older build of Windows altogether. But once I have my port found and selected. I'm going to go back to Pocket Max here, make sure my port is set to COM3. My baud rate is set to 1152. If you want to just be able to search for what baud it's at, you can use the auto baud, but I'm reasonably confident if you use 1152, you're going to have the correct thing. And if I hit connect, it's going to go connected COM3 at 1152, querying receiver settings. And once it's done that, I can hit Pocket Max 4 to open up the application and connect to the receiver. And if I head to my second to last tab here, NTRIP, I can now enter my NTRIP information. In my case, I've got an IP address here of ntrip.stormcaster.net, a port of 2101, and then I'm just using a username and password for Stormcaster. Right now I have the rocks differential mount point selected. If I change it to the RTCM3, that's going to use the RTCM3 MSM message, which in my case is what I want is maybe I want to connect this to a drone. And once I have that all entered, I'm going to have that RTCM3 set as my username and my password. And once I have that all entered, I'm going to select that start and trip server. And you're going to see once I do that, it starts the broadcast and we're going to see how much information we're sending to the server. And if I want to stop at any time, I can hit disconnect or close the application. But for now, that is everything in today's video. That is how you use a Hemisphere S631 to pass correction data using the local Wi-Fi network of a connected computer. And if you have a moment, I would please ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out and helps me keep making these videos. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on this YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.